Howdy folks, Brett here with a new video in our You Didn't Know Existed series. Other than the primary features in Windows 11, it also has cool features included that most people don't know about. So coming up, I'll show you 12 features built into Windows 11 that you may not know existed. Let's get started. Built into the snipping tool in Windows to take a screenshot or record your screen is OCR. Optical character recognition is a technology that converts text in images that normally can't be copied and makes them editable and searchable text. Do a search for the snipping tool. Select it. I'll move this up higher. Make sure that snip is selected. Then select the type of screenshot. I'll leave it on rectangle. To take a snip, you could use the keyboard shortcut, Windows key plus shift plus S, or click on new. Drag the area and then let go. On the toolbar to the right of image crop, select text actions. Your choices are copy all text, copy as table, and the last one here, quick redact, will block out email addresses and phone numbers when selected. I'll go with copy text. From here, just paste it where you need it. Next up, Click Lock, not to be confused with Click Fix, that's been attacking macOS users recently, is a feature that allows users to highlight and drag without having to hold down the mouse button. Without Click Lock enabled, to highlight text, for example, you'd left click on your mouse, keeping it held down, and let go. With it enabled, you would left click once, let go, and drag the area to highlight without having to keep your mouse held down. This might come in handy for accessibility or some other reason. To enable it, go to search in the taskbar and type control panel. Select it. To ensure you're looking at the same thing as me, in view by, select large icons. Click on mouse. With the Buttons tab selected, check the box next to Turn On Click Lock. And there's a description here of what it does. Go into Settings. Here you can adjust how long you need to hold down the mouse button before your click is locked. If you have difficulty staying focused while working on projects, the Focus Session feature built into the Clock app on Windows might help you out. To open it, do a search for Clock. Select it. Focus Sessions is the default for this app. You can adjust the time in minutes using the up and down arrows. It'll add in breaks. For example, at 80 minutes, you'll have two breaks. And you can skip breaks if you want by checking the box next to Skip Breaks. For those into the Pomodoro technique, you would set it to 25 minutes and you would have no breaks. To begin your focus session, click on Start Focus Session. And to get this window out of the way and have it on top of the other windows you have open, clicking this button here in the upper right will move it to the upper right corner of your screen. If your Windows 11 computer is a laptop, a feature that should be enabled immediately when getting it is Find My Device. This helps you to locate, lock, or wipe the data off of it if it's ever lost or stolen. To do this in settings, select Privacy and Security in the left pane. Then in Security, go to Find My Device. Click the toggle to turn it on. When it's connected to the internet, this will save your device's location. It's important to turn this on, otherwise your laptop is likely gone forever. You would just need to access your Microsoft account in a web browser on another device to find the location. And in addition, being able to lock or wipe your data from a loser who might have stolen it, I would guess would be important to you as well. Being able to turn web pages you visit often in your browser into Windows desktop apps is handy so you don't have to open a web browser to navigate to it every time. This works in Chromium-based browsers like Chrome, Edge, Brave, Vivaldi, etc. Firefox at this time does not offer this feature. For example, in Chrome, click the three-dot menu icon in the upper right, hover your cursor over Cast, Save, and Share, then go to Install plus the name of the site, in this case, that would be Install GitHub. Then select Install. And it's now on my desktop. 
So if I need to go there, instead of opening up a web browser and then navigating to it, I would just need to double click on it to open it. And that's it. If you're using the Chromium-based Microsoft Edge, which I like to call Credge, click on the three-dot menu icon in the upper right, hover down to More Tools, go to Apps, and select Install the Site as an App. And click Install. The steps will be very similar to the other Chromium browsers too. Shouldn't be too much for you to figure it out. There'll be an additional step here. Allow this app to pin to taskbar, pin to start, create desktop shortcut, and auto start on device login. Only do that if you want this app up and running when you log into your computer. This will also be on your desktop to quickly launch it. God Mode is an unofficial name used to describe a special folder that allows users to more quickly access various management tools and settings. This one became available with the now infamous Windows Vista and can also be done with Windows 11. To do this, create a new folder on your desktop. So right click, New, and select Folder. Rename the folder with what you see on the screen, starting with God Mode dot, then enter in the other characters. This will be easier to do by copying and pasting this from the description of this video. Once you've entered that in, hit enter on your keyboard. And as you'll see, this cool trick changes the folder to the icon for the control panel. Double click on it. Here you can explore the various settings all in one user interface. And there's a ton here. Being able to end tasks in the taskbar that are hung up, no longer responding, is a time saver when compared to using the task manager. Normally, if you have a program that's not responding that you cannot close by clicking on the X in the upper right of it, or by right-clicking on the taskbar and selecting close window does not work, you would go to the task manager to end the task. And that would close out the program. I'll now show you an easier way to do this. In the Settings app, which you can open with the Windows key and I key, in the left pane, click on System. Then here on the right, go to Advanced. Click on the toggle for End Task to turn it on. This will enable the ability to end a task by using right click in the taskbar. So if you have a program that's not responding, where you can't close it out the normal way, right click on it in the taskbar, and now you have the option to End Task. Creating virtual desktops is a great way to separate out the apps that you use for school or work from those that you're using for fun or personal use. Let's say that I'm using this desktop for work stuff. To create a desktop for personal use, hover your cursor over the virtual desktop icon in the taskbar and select New Desktop. You can create additional ones if you want. Now just open the apps that you want to use for fun or personal use. Now hovering your cursor, you can easily get back to your other desktop. Windows 11 has a handy feature for those times you want to minimize all other windows except the one you're working with by shaking the title bar of that window to minimize all of the other windows. It's no longer enabled by default in Windows 11, so in the Settings app, with System selected, go to Multitasking. Enable Title Bar Window Shake. Now left click your mouse and hold the title bar, shake it left and right fast to minimize all other open windows. And that's all there is to it. I still run into people that are not aware that Windows has a built-in insertion tool for emojis. To get access to it, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus period key. You can also get access to it with the Windows key and semicolon key. You can start typing as soon as it opens, then use the arrow keys to navigate and enter key to select. Let's do another one here. Last year, Microsoft made some improvements regarding the taskbar, including a quick and easy way to launch pinned apps on the taskbar. To enable this, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus T key. You can navigate this using the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard or select the first letter of the name of the app on your keyboard. So let's go with G, goes directly to GIMP and Google Chrome. Selecting the letter B goes to Brave. Hitting enter on your keyboard opens it. 
Another feature many people don't know exists in Windows 11 is the volume mixer. This easily allows you to assign volume levels for the entire system and individual apps that you have opened. To use it, right click on the volume icon located on the right side of the taskbar and select open volume mixer. The slider at the very top controls the overall system volume. When you go down to apps, it lets you control the volume of the system sounds like notifications. And this also lets you control the volume of other apps you have open. For additional features you may not know existed, check out our 10 overlooked Windows 11 features video. The link to that is in the description. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What features do you use in Windows 11 that you think most people don't know about? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest videos for Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.